the first step is to take your split cake of choice. I'm using this little pink and blue number from Leanne's collection, uh, the Butterfly Palette, and you want to load it onto a flat brush. This one's a three quarter inch brush, but generally on children I'll use a half inch because, you know, they're smaller. Right in the centre of the forehead you want to lay down two little guidelines and that will stop you going too far over each way. Then, putting your brush back on the first line, what you want to do is drag it upwards and twist the outside edge so it creates a point. Then on either side of this centrepiece, just add another little loop. Next, you need to start with your brush on a 45 degree angle and place this in the top corner of the forehead. You want to drag it down slightly and then without twisting it at all, bring it so it connects into the centrepiece. And then directly underneath that, you want to create another loop and again, bring this into the middle. Don't go so low that you're on the eyebrows though, try and avoid that area. Use your brush to fill in the eyelids and create a nice flick. Now obviously I am a 34 year old woman so my eyelids are a bit baggy and uh, they drag but we can fix that. On a child it's nice and smooth and you don't get that dragging effect so you won't have to worry about that. Next we're going to switch over to a white paint and I'm using a round number two brush. Just go around the crown design and add in some teardrop clusters and some swirls. Make sure it's all headed towards that centerpiece, that focal point. You do also need to make sure that your base has completely dried before you try and paint over it with white because otherwise it's going to pick up that colour underneath and it's going to all mix together. For the diamonds in the middle you can either use loose gems which you stick on with some skin glue or you can use bling. Um, this one was made for me by one of my students or you can make them yourselves or you can even buy them online. Heather from Silly Farms actually done a really good video on how to make your own bling so I'll link that below in the description. For the glitter I'm using pixie paint in the colour abracadabra and I'm just using my finger to apply it but you can use a brush as well. Um, now because this glitter is suspended in a gel you do need to be careful not to get it over the paint because it's liquid it will smudge it. And then finally if you want to add some lipstick just use a round number four brush and pick up one of the colours in your split cake and that will tie everything together. Mm -hmm. 